What's up guys, it's Coach Johnson. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Glide 101. How do we teach beginners the glide? Now, uh, if you, this is your first time here at the channel, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Remember, check the links below to check out the Throne Chain Reaction System that will take through everything that I'm gonna talk about in this video and go into much greater detail. Now, remember guys, one of the things we talk about with throwing is throwing is unnatural, happens super fast, and the glide is especially that because you have a shorter line. So the glide, when you guys look at these guys, when they start from the back of the circle to the time they're front, really short line, this is why the glide is tough. Now remember, we will always talk about the glide is a simpler technique, but it is not easier to execute. Big difference, right? So it's a straight line, pretty straightforward technique, but that means that if you get a little bit wrong, you're gonna be off. So one of the very first things we're gonna do if we're gonna start teaching our beginning throwers how we're gonna actually glide. Now, one of the things we always talk about is we teach what we call that heel-toe position. And so you'll see the gliders in, in, this, in the rotational throw, you're gonna to have to turn a little bit more. In the glide, there's a little less turn, right? So you're gonna notice that some of your elite gliders are gonna talk about having a little bit narrower line and I think I still like the heel toe as a general rule. Um, I've had gliders that have thrown, you know, here where they're saying to stay a little bit more linear because the idea is you're gonna come up and you're punching a straight line into the throw, but still kind of getting this heel toe. But when you're teaching beginners, you're trying to teach this motion of getting the hip into the throw. And I still think there's a certain degree of rotation that wants to be tough. So we call it kind of a rotate and we're having more of a push because we still gotta get that hip ahead and remember, we're still moving from this position, right, to this position. We do have to turn the hips into the throw. So the first thing is, when you teach a beginner, you want to teach that heel toe. And the second thing is, we always, what we teach in our system is called the pillar five stack. So we take the power position, here's your pillar five, and this is your pillar six, and we break it into two parts. Really simple and easy to understand. But the big mistake that you're gonna see with a lot of beginners is they don't stand, they, people tell them to put the foot up against the toe board, and I understand that, but you don't wanna put the foot here. You have to have the foot open so that the hips can turn. When you do this, you'll teach kids to kind of throw like this. Now they're throwing across their body instead of being able to turn their lower body ahead. Really important. So this is why we want that heel toe position because it's gonna help the athlete turn into the throw. Now the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the athlete is stacked up. Okay, so that's we use foot, knee, hip, again, pillar five stack. And so we're gonna set it up. We set up our chain reaction in all of our throwing things. A stand throw is just part of the throwing progression. You start here and you work to the full throw. So again, we've got heel toe and we've got this stack. We've got that toe more open. We don't wanna be here, we wanna be here. You see the difference? And we're gonna to learn to move the upper body back. This creates the concept of separation. This is really, really imperative. This is how you throw further. So for you coaches or throwers coaching yourselves, remember, you're always trying to get your lower body ahead of the upper body. You create this stretch and you're gonna create this punch. So our first thing is when we look at that lower body, we're stacked up, the hips are here. Notice my hips are slightly in this direction. What you see is a lot of kids putting their hips here. Then they put their upper body here you're gonna notice how I'm shifting and then they create this motion or they create this motion. So they're doing this kind of cartwheel instead of learning to get here, stretch, stay loaded here. And now this is gonna open up this way, which is what we call our glide T. We wanna take that arm out up into a T from elbow to elbow, shot to here. Now you'll notice that the legs are bent. This is gonna allow me to come through and get the hips into the throw and push the leg and the hip into the throw to start training that motion. The reason you have so many athletes that can't reverse on a glide is because their hips are facing here. So how am I gonna reverse that? You can't, you, it's a follow through. The hip comes through and the feet will switch and there's a drill inside of our system we call the one inch jump, that's a pillar six drill because we wanna be real specific. It's not a big jump, it's a motion to teach the coordination of coming through the block and feeling that motion. So let's talk, this is our 101. This is gonna be the beginning, the finish of the throw. We've got the stack, we've got the hips open, heel toe. 
we've got the shot in alignment and we're gonna take the shoulders turn and then we're gonna drop and stretch that arm so that I'm pulling myself over so I can feel myself get into this position. Again, inside our system, we'll teach all these different progressions. We have 22 different drills just to teach the finish and the idea isn't to learn 22 drills. The idea, again, with our system is always to identify the drill sequence or prescription for the individual athlete. So you may have multiple athletes with multiple different drills because every athlete is always different and that's one of the things we cover inside the throwing chain reaction. But today's video is about some simple basics. How do we set up the basics of the finish for teaching the glide? Now, we've talked about that lower body. We get everything here. We're creating that separation. Let's not forget the hand hold, the shot. Middle of the shot should go through the hand here. You should see the elbow the, the shot is more under the chin and the elbows kind of this way because what I'm gonna do is when I come here, I'm gonna hit this position and come through. So this is why we need the elbow out. Sometimes people put it under the chin and they have the shot too close and they're doing this type of thing. And you see kids because when they do this, they're gonna pull down and now you're getting this again and you're losing the delivery side. So the most important thing you have to do, heel toe, stack up the delivery leg create the separation, stretching that shoulder so that you're gonna be able to get down on the legs, elbows in the right position, so that way as I'm turning this knee into the throw, this is what's turning, this is gonna pull down, I'm gonna punch that hip and I'm gonna come through and be able to deliver. That's your glide kind of 101 on how you start. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to work through basically a simple progression to go through teach the middle of the throw and then put together the whole glide in a third video. That'll be our series. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, comment below. If there's any questions you have about this video, turn on those notifications, it helps a ton. And be sure to check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Link is below everything easy on how to improve your glide. Thanks so much and we'll see you on the next video.